Welcome back to another DevOps Bootcamp video and I'm super excited for this one because we are doing a giveaway a really amazing giveaway that is going to help you folks a lot and uh, we are continuing the series as you can see on the screen the playlist is you know we already have 12 videos in a lot of folks are watching it so it covered like basics starting from the basics to various am amazing tools like docker and kates and uh, you know like lens and monocle and uh, so many other like daytree so what are we doing in this video Kunal and what is the giveaway so the giveaway is basically the Kubernetes and Cloud Native Associate voucher. So this voucher contains two things, right? The bundle itself, so where how you can learn these so many things. So you can see it starts from like Kubernetes fundamentals, container orchestration and cloud native architecture, even observability and application delivery. So like it is, you now you may ask Kunal, what are the prerequisites? As you can see over here, there are no prerequisites for this exam. So if you are a beginner, you don't know, let's say anything about, you know, this particular domain, this exam is for you. It's 300 bucks. So 300 US dollars is like uh, 22,000, but we'll be giving away this for free, right? So you'll be getting this for free. And uh, the giveaway, right? So as you can see, experience level beginner. So for folks who are just getting started, this is great for them, right? Um, so we'll be giving away this for free and we'll be doing more and more such giveaways. But well, how do we take part in the giveaway? First of all, if you're new to DevOps, if you're new to the cloud native world, check out my bootcamp, right? You don't know Git and GitHub, we have covered that. Basics of like, you know, complete like computer networking courses covered, Linux and terminal commands and YAML and Docker and Kubernetes even. So if you've watched the like till Kubernetes and stuff and you're aware of like how Kubernetes works and what are the various YAML files and stuff like the pod file we created, right? It created a pod. For example, if you watch this video, you would understand. If not, please watch this video. Similarly, managing these big, big YAML files can be a little bit difficult, right? Debugging these files can be difficult comes into picture um, Monocle by Kubeshop. I've done a video on this as well. You can see a 30 minute video over here. Manage and debug Kubernetes manifest by Monocle, uh, with Monocle by Kubeshop. So if you wanna learn more about Monocle, uh, you can check out the link in the description for this video. And that is what the giveaway is all about. So in this video, we'll be building on top of the tools that we are working with. I'll be showing you a really good example of how you can create a YAML manifest template in Monocle. It's very simple. I'll also link some resources for you to get started, like some blog posts and guides, for example, and this video, obviously you can see. So we're working with Monocle and we're seeing how you can create a template. So as in the previous video we saw, like if you want to create a manifest file, you can select a template, it will automatically make it for you. You may want some properties to be there in some manifest files, right? So templates come in handy for that. Okay, and one more such resource is the Open Source Cafe uh, podcast that I do. I did a, did a did one with Ol, and we talked about what's new in Monocle. We did like, did like a nice little demo as well. Kunal, the main question, how do we get, how do we take part, you know, in this uh, event? So you can follow this tutorial and create your own template. And even if you want to get started with Monocle or even let's say Kubernetes, everything is listed, okay? In the DevOps Bootcamp playlist, you can find everything, including this video. So check out that playlist. I'll also leave the resources and some blogs and nice little tutorials for you in the description below. So that's the first part. Follow this tutorial and create your own Monocle template like I will be doing in this video. Second one is write a blog and share your learnings. We always emphasize on learning in public. So share about your learnings and or Monocle is an open source tool, right? You can also contribute to it as well. It's free as well. So it's totally like for the for the community and just trying to promote the, you know, learning in public initiative as well. If you're following the DevOps Bootcamp, you can check out hashtag DevOps with Kunal, for example. You can share your blog on Twitter or LinkedIn. We'll appreciate, you know, both and tag uh, Monocle uh, underscore IO um, and community classroom, com classroom. And as I already mentioned, resources can be found in the video description. You can also check out uh, Monocle on Twitter to get updates and uh, you can also send them feedback and it's brought to you by Kubeshop company and uh, they also have two other amazing tools, TestCube and Kusk. So we'll be, you know, uh, working with these later on. These are a little bit more advanced tools. Oh, one more thing uh, I wanted to share that, um, yeah, you know, one of the tools like TestCube has been featured on the CNCF landscape as well. If you watched my introductory video, I showed you the CNCF like landscape and uh, we'll definitely you know, see, you can see so many projects and we'll be going through like most of these uh, throughout the bootcamp. Let's get started. All right, now let's get started with the tutorial, how you can create templates. So just as a refresher, Monocle is you know, an amazing tool that allows you to you know, manage and debug your Kubernetes manifest files pretty easily. And uh, you, know, you can uh, keep adding you know, various uh, components and now they have this new release where they have, you know, in, uh, 
introduce like projects and like more folders and you can switch between different projects i did a podcast with all about the new feature so you can check that out but apart from you know working with the existing manifest files molecule can all will, will also allow you to now create files from like scratch or you can also create it like from a template as you can see like start from a template so the templates are uh, basically you know uh, you can create uh, newer components but uh, you can have like specific properties um, you know for like every component that you create okay so let's say in your team you have a specific property that you know, every content you know component should have you can define that in a particular template okay so let's say we start from a template because monocle comes with like some default templates you know in the kubernetes video i told you there are many kubernetes objects we also saw an example of one of the objects pod basic scheduling unit in kubernetes we also saw like a little bit about deployments and stuff um but let's say we start from a template so i can give this project a name i can say something like uh, demo project okay and i can uh, next select select a template so i can say let's say i use a basic pod so i can see i can say use this template now basically is asking me to like you know it's uh, giving like author and version and the url and everything like that i can say start and here it would ask me to add you know the um the resource that i'm trying to create I, I, it would ask me to like give it a name so i can say template pod namespace let's say none or whatever and uh, image i can just say nginx that's it i can say submit pod resource created successfully done there you go template is created make sense sound good now if i just say deploy it to minikube no just one, just one second exit template pod deploy default namespace i can say and i'm going to deploy template pod to default namespace in minikube because so i'm connected to minikube configure to minikube right now done <laughs> so without monocle as well we were doing the same thing in the kubernetes video right um, but this is a small file but in reality you know you're having so many big 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 files and monocle offers some great features like linkings and you can refactor stuff and you can you know filter stuff out you can also filter over here and cluster compare so make sure you check out the monocle video to understand the true power of the tool right and if you don't want to work with yaml files you can check out metadata I mean, like template pod 2 you can see the yaml file is updated using the ui make sense okay but now let's see how you can create your own template okay so this was sort of like a template but what if you want to create your own template how can we do that so make sure you take part in this challenge and learn something new and share online and we'll make sure we you know uh, give you feedback as well so first let's you know set up our project and these all the things that i'm mentioning you can mention this in your blog and you can share the links to your own uh, you know github repositories when you create it um so let's create a project on github i'm going to go on github and you know, this is my public github profile you can check it out and uh I'm going to go to GitHub. I'm going to say new repository. My repository, I'll create a new one. New repository. Cool. I'm going to name it Monocle Template. Monocle Templates Plugin. Cool. I'm going to say public, create it, and then I'm going to clone it. Okay. So I'm going to say desktop. And here I can just say git clone this thing. Okay, I'm just gonna go. That's it. Cool. And um, yeah, that's it for now. So Kunal, why are you creating this uh, GitHub repository? So basically, when we are talking about templates in Monocle, this is an important point. So they are installed in Monocle via a, a plugin, and a plugin is basically a GitHub repository that is going to contain a package.json file for Monocle. So let's see what that package file looks like. Okay, so as we know that the GitHub repository we created, that will be a plugin because, but it will contain a package.json file in order to be a Monocle plugin. So if you want this repository to be a plugin for your Monocle, it has to include a package.json file. So that's the first point. 
So I've opened it up in, in opened it up, opened it up in VS Code, and I can say package dot JSON. I'm just gonna add my uh, JSON file data in it. So you can see it's saying name is equal to template plugins and description just like a custom template plugin. Get give it a version. I can give it my name, Kunal Kushwaha, and I'm gonna give it a repository. Like which repository is it linked to? So this one. Okay. And then you say monocle plugin. This is another field that you have to put over here. Modules. So type template path basic pod template. Cool. So that is the what you know what we'll be what we'll be creating right now. So let's get ahead with it. So for this template, like we're gonna need three things. First one is the monocle template configuration. Second one is a form configuration, and third one is a Kubernetes YAML file, uh, Kubernetes manifest file placeholder. So remember when we were using the template pod like uh, the one that you know we were using a a pre-written template so we had to put some things in it like the name and stuff so these were placeholders image and everything so we need to create that as well and we are trying to replicate the pod one so that's why we have written the name basic pod template over here okay so three things needed let's say we create the monocle template configuration first so we need a so basically for every uh template that you create you're going to need a specific folder and uh, this one since we're given this particular name i'm going to create it like that okay and uh, in this i'm basically going to say that uh, okay we need a template uh, configuration for this so i'm going to say monocle i'm going to share with you what this is in a minute json cool so the idea is that uh, okay and now let's get you know started with creating a, a template configuration which is a monocle specific thing and uh, basically you know it defines what type of template you are trying to create so i'm going to say monocle template dot json so this is basically going to share okay what type of uh, you know template are you creating so this one was basically sharing that okay this particular folder is a plugin and this is thing is saying what type of template are you trying to create so obviously if it's monocle specific so you know in uh, we're going to have like uh, uh, you know, there's basically like um, um, uh, two types of templates that you can use in monocle right so there's vanilla that we are doing like right now and there are helm charts as well so let's, uh, let's try to see what goes into this json file okay so this is a monocle template file as you can see on the screen it has a lot of fields so name basic kubernetes pod ID, I'm going to give it like com.github.knalkushwaha.plugin.templates.basic.pod.template. Okay, so I've just given it some, um, some, some ID over here. And name and version and a description we have provided over here. And uh, type vanilla. And this is an important point. Here you can see like the name and the description, the types of forms that we are having. This is a new thing. What is the schema and the UI schema? right and the manifest file as well that is you know the, th the things that will be creating later on so schema path has been provided as form schema dot json and ui schema is other thing that is provided as ui uh, sorry form uh, ui dot uh, form ui schema dot json now what are these two fields so here basically uh, these are the two fields that will be used by monocle um, to provide our users for uh, the template with the you know input forms that we had right so when i created my own pod over here you saw that i had some i had to provide some some input and um, that's basically what it's about so the the schema one is basically going to contain the fields and the ui one is basically the one that is going to be appearing on the screen and have the nice little ui like fields and descriptions and titles and all these other things so first let's create the schema one and then we'll create the ui schema one so this is the sort of like the structure you have to follow you can copy paste this and i'll leave the link to it in the description you can check it out but um, yeah okay so we can create our uh, form schema i can say create a new file form schema dot json okay so this is basically going to contain all the basic fields that we require um you know in the pod okay so we can say like what type it is and the name for example we have to type the name and you know the image for example so as you can see type object required name and image you have to put a name and image 
you can also give some default properties to the name so if you don't provide any it will be my pod namespace type string and image also of type string if you want it to be default namespace you can give a default it's default namespace for example so that's the form schema this is basically the fields that we will be inputting when we're filling out the template cool if you work with react then the ui stuff that we'll be doing uh monocle will be using react json schema form and let's create our this one which is form ui schema dot json let's create this one this is for our ui okay so you can learn more about the it on the on the website and the documentations but name namespace and image so this is for our ui because we had you know name and image and namespace over here name namespace and image so name namespace and image title and the you know like the message stuff and basic stuff that was required when we were creating our own one right okay when we're talking about widget so this is a internal like a custom one by monocle it provides the drop down functionality so we are using that one right so this is basically some message that will be provided to us so remember when you are adding the name of the image this was sort of like the helper message that was given to us okay so this is just going to be used for the ui part you can customize this accordingly cool now we have to create you know this sort of a yaml file now we have taken the inputs from the user okay we have to fill this inputs in some yaml file so yaml file will contain a template for example this will be empty this will be empty this will be empty this will be placeholders whatever you put inside the form will be replaced over here for example the name this will be let's say sort of like a placeholder like this and image a placeholder like this or something like that so whatever you put over here you put name is equal to engine export or whatever it will be replaced over here so we need this template file okay that's what we have provided in the template as well the manifest template file is template your yaml no problem this is the third part okay third part third part of the tutorial create template dot yaml this is going to contain the pod template like this okay so we our goal is that whatever we have inputted uh, we have to replace that in the template file okay so now this is a, a little bit you know may may sound tricky so this is what we need we need api version v1 okay we'll copy paste that as it is kind pod no problem metadata no problem copy paste name template pod so the idea is this you have to get from the user so where are you getting it from in the monocle template there are various forms and inside the form you have your template data so form as you can see is a list or an array whatever you want to call it and we only have one entry over here meaning you can have various various uh sort of like forms and schemas over here we only have one so that is why the template yaml file looks sort of like this see copy paste copy paste copy paste name is equal to form of zero meaning only the one entry we have available over here meaning this pod form okay and this is going to contain a names property that is true it contains a names property okay so you can see it's linked schema is linked over here so form of zero dot name will go over here form of zero dot image will go over here okay dot namespace and similarly for image forms of zero dot image forms of zero is what forms of zero at the zeroth index is this one this 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 form it has this schema in this file okay in this file it there's the schema dot image yeah here we have it so whatever the person inputs in the image part it will be replaced over here similarly for name and resources very simple this is just a simple you know like check um if it is you know provided take that otherwise it's having as um, empty no problem cool that is it as simple as that in three steps let's uh push this on github cool if you don't know git check out my github tutorial very nice now let's connect this with monocle okay and by the way we are going to this is going to have templates plugin there was a typo over here and i pushed those changes so what we're going to do is i'm just going to copy this uh, url and i'm going to go to my monocle and over here you can see it says uh, open plugins manager so i'm going to click on this install a new plugin 
URL post paste it over here download and install plugin and there you go we have our own custom custom plugin over here now how cool is that so now our plugin is installed we can also check out the template section so if you go to the template section you can check your own template that you created basic kubernetes pod i click on use this template author kunal and version 1.0 and help url it's giving the url for my own repository and description as well how cool is that cool as you can see over here description this one is same as this one very nice you created your own, own plugin now now start and you're asking for name namespace and image so i'm saying name namespace and image and the ui looks something like this the name of the pod the name of the pod by default value my pod default value somewhere over here you can provide is my pod okay namespace none image nginx my pod 2 or something i write submit created very nice so i hope you know what templates are it allows you to create like the yaml file and everything will be written on its own you just put in the values and it will create the yaml file for you in just three simple steps you can create it your own you can deploy it mini cube done deployed it want to learn more about monocle and the amazing features check out the monocle tutorial and now yeah uh, make your own plugin and uh, experiment with it you can check out the kubernetes website you don't have to like you know be a pro professional or whatever anyone can uh, take part so we go to the kubernetes not the contributors one but um, kubernetes docs this one so you go to the documentation and concepts and talk about you know, see so many tutorials if i go over here you can check out uh, the basics and stuff everything is available over here right um wanted to show you a little bit more about say configuration for example if you talk about okay security you talk about uh, should be available in concepts i think containers more about pods there you go so as you can see yaml file over here so you can learn more about all such things cool so that's basically about it and that's how you can take part in this uh you know sort of like a contest sort of thing and uh, follow these steps that i mentioned on the screen i'll also link those in the description everything i mentioned and i will be selecting the winners by monday so you have like the entire weekend so yeah um have fun and uh, even beginners can get started looking forward to seeing what you build do share it on twitter it's going to help you you know grow your uh, uh personal brand as well and share your learnings help others and make sure you like say and subscribe i'll see you in the next one have a great day